Jack said, so the, do you have a recommendation for backend developers to check over and security check vibe coded apps? So depending on the importance of your deployment, I would actually send this to a security expert to get it checked. If you are running this as a business, then that's going to be the way to do it. You can send it off to somebody, have them, have them check it properly and reinforce it. I'm sure there are people who are setting this up as a business. If not already, then they really should be because there's going to be a lot of vibe coded, insecure vibe coded apps out there. In terms of backend, it depends. It depends on where you're building. So lovable, interestingly, have just added backend. Let me put it up. So I'm going to bring it up because this is relevant. So lovable backends in the lab. So Lovable now supports full stack development, no setup, no external accounts. This is really exciting. Build apps with built-in authentication, database, and edge functions, all managed directly in Lovable. No Superbase account needed. Superbase are probably upset about this because it used to be the kind of native integration. Not anymore. So everything runs inside Lovable. We configure it under project settings backend. This is a lab feature. So this is in beta, but this will be rolling out to lovable accounts or lovable accounts soon, I'm sure. But I think this is probably the future moving forward is especially with vibe coding, vibe coding platforms like lovable is they will move everything under one roof and then they will provide tools to allow you to, to check the security until then I would work with a professional developer on this part or it's a bit more hit and miss. You can find checklists online, which take you point by point through all of the different strengthening, so hardening that you need to go through. Then you can take that back to your Vibe co coding app and say, Hey, this is our new to, to do list. We need to go through all of this and we need to get everything checked off. That again, depends on your confidence in the Vibe coding tool and in Gemini or Claude code or whatever you're using. So I'd still recommend going to a, to a developer, a security developer for the final checks at least, but maybe you can get a bit closer by going through a checklist. This depends on the, what you're, if this is going to be relatively low traffic, if it's going to be an internal tool, you might not need to worry. If this is going to be deployed and used by tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, then yes, invest in this, get this done properly.